I cannot wait for you guys to hear what he had to say. And of course, I want you guys to understand, he did schedule a consultation before buying this. So he didn't want to cut corners anymore. He already went through that and you'll hear from himself. He is starting a, a business and of course he has a YouTube channel and I want to put a link in the description below. Check out his channel if you guys are into uh, uh, fabrication for vehicles. He's got a really cool channel. I mean, I'm telling you now and I don't say that lightly, it is a very interesting channel. He really wants to do things right and I totally respect that. Um, he works for Lockheed Martin, so this is no joke. I mean, this guy really, really takes fabrication to heart, and this is where we're going. And once again, he wanted, after making the purchase of the plans from that content creator, he wanted to take a step up. We talked, and this is what we've come up with for a base system. Now again, I'll transfer that over. You guys will get to see exactly what he has to say. And once again, I want to thank you all for your support. Your pan flat. The largest issue that I had in building this plasma table, again, partially due to my lack of research. I purchased plans from a YouTuber that I have mentioned in previous parts that from what I can tell was the wrong person to rely on for good information. I wanna be careful about what I say here because I don't know this guy. I haven't spoke to him, although I have reached out to him and haven't heard back. I don't know his intentions. I tell you, it's really sad when we hear a marketing campaign from a content creator who does affiliate marketing translate into selling really cheap plans. Then you hear a guy who buys the plan say exactly as I stated in all my fail videos and all the time I've talked about these guys that he reached out to him. He never heard back. Of course, he doesn't want to say anything uh, bad about the guy. He doesn't know the guy, but he does say he doesn't know what his intentions are. I think we can all justify by saying that if his intentions were honest, he would have contacted him back. What's interesting is after looking at that channel and understanding that, of course, any positive comments are always going to have feedback on them. And you guys will see that on most channels. But when we hear this kind of behavior, and we know that these affiliate marketers slash content creators are looking for the biggest bang for their buck, they're not making most of their money from YouTube, guys. What they make their money on is selling products.